Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm here today to show you a problem that can occur when you're performing measurements of the grounding systems as I do, uh, trying to characterize the grounding system in America. And to do this we have an oscilloscope and we have a multimeter. And as you can see, both the positive probe of the oscilloscope and the multimeter are connected to this ground connection which goes into this plug and connects into the wall. So right here we're actually measuring the utility ground, which is also in America the utility neutral connection. And over here is our reference. And this cable right here goes out into my back garden where I have an eight foot non-electrified ground probe. And that's what you need to perform grounding measurements on the utility system. And as you can see, both the negative connections, the ground connections, are actually connected in. And if we look at the meter reading, we're set on two volts on the multimeter for AC, and we're reading zero. And this matches the oscilloscope. Now, at this point, you may be fooled into thinking that there's no voltage on your electrical grounding system, which is what both meters are actually indicating. And this is not actually true because what's going on here is that the oscilloscope grounding connection over here is not actually grounded to the garden because it's actually plugged in on mains. It's actually grounded to the wall. So we're actually, we have our negative probes measuring the same ground as our positive probe. And as you can see, the indication is no difference and no effect on the waveform. And it is for that reason that this oscilloscope actually runs on batteries. So when I purchased this, I knew I was going to be doing grounding system and AC system measurements and I knew that the grounding cable would connect through the main socket and affect my readings. And I'm actually going to show you what it actually reads when it's running no batteries. I'm simply just going to disconnect from the wall. And this is what our display shows. So the oscilloscope is now running on its own internal power supply with no connection through its grounding system to the AC electrical system. So the only ground connection the oscilloscope actually has is to the non-electrified ground probe in the garden. And as we can see, we've got a 60 hertz waveform on our display and we're set at 200 millivolts per division. So it's about 1.6 volts peak to peak. But our meter doesn't indicate that. So there's a discrepancy between the meter and the oscilloscope, and that is due to the distortion of the waveform. Most meters won't read accurately on a distorted waveform like this, so that's why you use an oscilloscope to actually ascertain the correct value. And the correct value today is 1.6 volts according to the oscilloscope. So it's another thing that you shouldn't get caught out on is the difference between your digital multimeter and what your oscilloscope reads. It's just the way that the two instruments actually perform their measurements that produces a different reading. But as you can see, there's clearly an AC voltage on the grounding connection. And that was the purpose of this demonstration, to show you that if you don't have the correct setup when you're performing these grounding measurements, you may actually be misled into thinking that there is no voltage on the grounding system when there actually is a voltage on the grounding system. And uh, I hope you don't get caught out by this. It's very easy as an electrical engineer working in the field to get caught out by your test equipment. And it's happening all the time. So uh, hopefully you'll never get caught out by this problem after watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.